morning, everybody. Hello, Namaskaram. Vedanta, last time I should speak in English, I suppose. When we have classes in Vedanta, the first class is to find out whether a person is competent to proceed and learn the Vedanta. Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampatti is the first chapter and it lays down four qualifications, minimum qualifications to proceed with study of the Vedanta. In the absence of that, if you can study, but it will be of no use. Same way, when Sri uh, mentioned to me that I should speak here, I was just wondering, Dikshitar, then all these Sangeeta Kalavidis, Acharyas of so many decades before, now present Acharyas and all the teachers and the scholars who have gone into great details about the Dikshitar Tritis, the content of it, the intent of it and the compressiveness of the coverage of Dikshitar Tritis in daily life. Compared to that, who am I to stand here and talk in front of you about Dikshitar? Nothing. Then I, I thought over yes. this. Subhu has asked me to speak. Let me see whether I have any competence. I have some. One is, I was born in Truvaru, the birthplace of the Trinities. The three Trinities, three, three, three uh, saint composers, I was the birthplace living close to their house. This is number one. Number two, when I was born, the house in Dhiruvarur, where in the, in the room I was born, was also the classroom of my elder sister, Kalyani Krishnamurti. She was six years younger to me. She was having classes in that room. And the teacher was Vidwan Dhiruvarur. Yes. Uh, uh, Setra. Setra. Yes. The okay. His uh, concerts are all available, even now in the internet. And as a small kid, born kid, what I have heard at that time is Bhata Pikalamati Mbajayam, elaborately in Hamsatvani, the Ragam which was invented by Sri Muttuswami Dikshita's father, Sri Ramaswami Dikshita. That was my first uh, thing to be heard. Subsequently, that uh, thing which I have been hearing, I have been an uh, ardent uh, this thing for the last 75 years. Carnatic music has been a great this thing to me. I am not a performer, nor I have learned in detail, just by hearing only 75 years. Carnatic music plus the Trinity compositions and particularly Dikshita. It has got a fantastic power in it, content in it. Bhakti in it, it takes us to a different level. This is it. Third, my father always used to take me first thing in the morning, remove the calendar sheet of the previous day, put the vibhuti, take me to Kamalalayam tank for taking bath. And uh, bath, vibhuti. Enter the temple, all the sanities where Dikshitara has stood and made his compositions. We were there every day in all the sanities, including coming later to attend the Sahaya Rakshay in the evening, as well as the Maragalingam Abhishegu. This I have gone through for six, six years. This is the thing. And Thiruvaru, interesting thing is, uh, Swami Dikshita has a record. He is the only composer who has composed the maximum number of kritis in a single temple, Yagaraja Swami temple, almost uh, 55 or 60 kritis, only deities inside the temple. The Kamalayam tank itself is as big as the Yagaraja Swami temple, which is itself is very huge. This is the background. And so, I felt that I do have some competence to speak here, something say 30% pass mark. With this, I will start to say a few words as uh, suggested by him. Uh, what is the next one? See, uh, I have mentioned here, uh, perspective is a way of looking at something. That's the, what the dictionary says, the way of looking at something. I have some way of looking at this dictionary. 
yes. This is the. I will be brief. Don't worry. This is what, and this is how. The what is what is there in his kriti. Very briefly, and the how. So many things look like magic in his life. How? Can we take a look into it? That's the subject number two. Uh, Can we change? What? <clears throat> you see the... See, we all learned this, uh, we have all heard of it and learned to some extent. The Upanishads, the Vedanta, uh, Vedanta, things like this. And then the Bhagavad Gita, which they say simplifies the huge concepts which not many can understand. So this is simplified. It's a fighting situation where everybody understands. So something like that. But coming to US, many have migrated. Many were born here. So I don't know the type of life which is going on. Very dynamic life, very busy life. You know, someone who is going to find time to many, few may, but many may not find time to go through all this uh, Upanishads and uh, you know Vedanta and this thing. But there were wonderful teachers and there were wonderful parents here who could expose to these children the, the beauty of these philosophies here in various forms, particularly the art, like the uh, music, Carnatic music which they are teaching, the Bharatanatyam and other dances they are teaching. And the parents also going out of the way to take these children to classes uh, traveling 40-50 miles and all that and it's a, something mind-boggling to me. These children are all extremely blessed by the Almighty. Otherwise this cannot happen here. Okay. Now this what I am going to tell is mainly for them. Okay. Because they should know what is that. In Tamil there is one uh, saying Uru Pane Means if you are trying to cook a big pot of rice, you just take one morsel of rice and you will know whether it is cooked properly or not. One morsel is enough, no need to check the whole pot. But Dikshakar Kriti is so huge, I said I will take one morsel and put it here and then we will see what exactly is the coverage of this Dikshakar Kriti. This is uh, the Kriti. Uh, it is a Panchalinga Kriti, one of that. And this Anandeshwarena Samrakshitoham in Anandavedu. Let us take Pallavi. Anandeshwarena Samrakshitoham Nityananda Ruposmi Brahmananda Ruposmi Just put your heart and soul into that Pallavi and see what it is. Anandeshwarena Samrakshitoham you are protecting me and what I am feeling Nityananda Rupasmi I am feeling and I am in Brahmananda Rupasmi so Dikshitar is very clear not like us if I go to God will he grant whatever I am praying he is not like that yes, yes. You are protecting me, mean nothing to worry. All gone. And I am Nityananda Urvasmi. I have become. The description is equivalent of Maheshwara. He has become equivalent to that. Now, coming to, I will just touch upon a few words. <clears throat> what are these? Uh, yes, Avastatriya, Sakshinodi, all these are all there. What it means is that Vedanta. You have, uh, you know, the body and the soul, each, uh, this thing is having five sheets. These are all not covered in textbooks of our school and college. They don't teach all these things. But this is universal philosophy. It covers the whole universe, how it operates. It's all covered only in the Upanishads and Vedanta. It's not taught. They think that this is not required for our life. But if we go into that, this Ananda, we can do our all the jobs without any worry, without any fear and get into this. So, 
there are <coughs> mentions of uh, Panchakosha, and then there is the mention of uh, 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 stages of the bodies of external eternal existence like gross body, subtle body, causal body, and all that is all there in this. And uh, Satchit Ananda, he says, you are Satchit Ananda. So, now only one thing we have seen in particular. Uh, <clears throat> Sravana, Manana, Nidhyasana, Samadhi, Nishtavarakshanubhava, Swamantravasheshita, Prakashaman Maheshwari. This is a very important statement. This says, if Sravana, if you <coughs> hear about the God, if you, if you think about the God, Manana, and if you meditate on the God, you can reach Samadhi. And what happens when you reach Samadhi? Then you really feel directly that you are one with the Almighty. And this is what happens. And you become Maheshwara. This, I felt, is an essence of the Vedanta. You may study Vedanta for one week, you may study for one year, you may study for two years, ten years, and lifetime. But you may not get this direct experience by full concentration on the Almighty is definitely going to lead to Samadhi. Please don't think Samadhi as death or something like that. It is a state of ourselves. Satchit Ananda. We can continue to do everything being in a state of Satchit Ananda. That we have to understand very clearly. It is not some death or something like that. Or forgetting everything about the world and becoming a sannyasi is not like that. So, these are all covered in just one kriti. In fact, it is packed with so much of power. They say that unless we get totally involved in such kritis, we should not even sing it. It's very powerful. So, my feeling is, my appeal, is it is just not enough to know the kritis and sing. Three levels are there. One, to know the kriti and sing. Second, to understand and get into it. Third, is to become one with it. The third level, that one with it will make our life wonderful. It's a practical use there, better. So this is it. This, I would say, is a content, a sample. Next. How? How? 150 years after he went to these temples and sang there, the compositions are becoming more and more and more popular globally. I was telling um, Jayanti, just now, I was amazed. I said, who is this Dikshita? What is this Dikshita? How to become a Dikshita? Is there any course for becoming a Dikshita? Can we become a Dikshita? I put all this in Google. Surprising. The only series of answers I got with the Swami Dikshita. Finished. Nothing else. Sanjay Subramanyam uh, uh, sang there. So, something like this. So, I would like to highlight some interesting thing. Now, let us take a look. I mean, exceeding. I mean, exceeding the time. Or shall I? Anyhow, I uh, see. <clears throat> these are all certain things which we think are miracles. Uh, getting a bina in the kashi. His guru says, "Go to the Ganjasiva." Whatever you get, you bring it. And he gets this Meena. Here is Ananda Gurdavarshini in Satur village. He just sings torrential rains. And then here in Tritani, he just is there. Old man, Shiva, comes an old man. He's Kalkan. Things look to be, oh, he is a very special person. Best with the God. Let us see what he did. We also, he is like us. Nothing different. His accomplishments are different. <laughs> That's the only difference. So, if you go back in the life of Dikshita, what is happening is that a Dikshita must do this Sandhya Vandhanam, 
Trikala Satyavamaram, then he must have studied the Vedas. He must have done Soma Yaham, and then uh, he is also uh, this Sri uh, Vidya Upasaka, very, very rigorous. He is all doing pujas and meditating on the Almighty, almost always. He is in the state of such an ananda because of his experience. And all this happened in his younger days as well as in his uh, uh, youthful stage. He has walked almost 5,000 miles and without any transport of car or something like that. And only, uh, only sort of uh, bullock cart or walk through roads which are not formed, thieves are there, all this is there, gone all the way. And on to, to Kathmandu and return. So, the compositions are much after that. Tirithani was the first composition. Till then, he has spent quite a lot of time and years and all this, this thing. So, during this period, <coughs> he has acquired the capability to be in touch with Alvain. Now, let us come to Ananda Pradesh. He, here he is finding the village, no water, and he would like to bring water. And then he prays. I would like to say one thing. He has the capability through his sadhanas to be in touch with the Almighty at any time and to be one with the Almighty at any time. Direct experience. It is not theoretical knowledge gained through books. Direct experience of seeing non-duality. He is Parameshwara. He goes to Sadhguru village. And then they say that if you are in that state, you are, whatever you speak is the instruction to the whole universe. What you speak will happen in that state. Anybody can, if they can reach that, they can see. If you are in that state, state of mind, whatever you say will happen. And he says, rain, varshaya, 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 force, that is it. It shows. What he has been doing? He is in a state of samadhi. But again about samadhi I would like to say. It is not that samadhi means uh, uh, you know, sitting like this. Uh, uh, you know, it is not like that. One can walk and be in samadhi. Sadashiva Brahmendra was like that. If you study his story, you will know what is samadhi while walking. Something like this. So now, this is a uh, connection with God. And now coming to say, Vina, or uh, this Tirithani, the God has already been pleased with all these years of sadhana. You deserve. Come on, take this. The other one. This is how it is. So I would like to mention that Dikshita is not an ordinary person and it is just not the composition. It is the sadhana of the thing and he has shown through these compositions what level we can reach. This is it. So, with these few words, see, Samana, Manana, Nididhyasana, Samadhi, these are all, he represents all that. With these few words, I would like to thank you and thank you all very much for the uh, patient hearing.